We have a proclamation for Henry S. West Laboratory School, fifth grade class. Come on up, guys. Bring it up here. Come on up. I originally met this class when they wrote me a letter. They're not in my district. Heck, they're not even in our city. But they cared enough about Miami to come over and clean up the shorelines in, in, uh, in Pallet Park in Miami's District 2. And they invited myself uh, and a lot of other electeds and candidates to come and help clean up. And they taught us uh, why we have garbage on the beach. Uh, it's not just about things that get thrown off of boats. There's a lot of runoff that happens from our own streets uh, that goes out into the bay and ends up polluting our mangroves and our shorelines and, and damages our environment and even the animals that are out there. And so this class wrote letters to me uh, asking me to get involved and take a stand uh, from a legislative basis, and I've promised them that I'm going to do so. So we're here to give a proclamation today, whereas the fifth grade class has been studying the issue of trash and ocean pollution, particularly along Biscayne Bay, and have decided to become actively engaged in attempting to solve the problem, or at least ameliorate the current situation. And they are keenly aware of the causes and resulting effects from the accumulation of trash and ocean pollution, and apparently they've brought it all here today. <laughs> Namely, factory runoff, sewer waste, pesticides leading to algae blooms, toxic odors along the shoreline, and eventual creation of dead zones in our oceans. These, studi the, these studies uh, and events have sparked a sincere motivation on the part of the fifth grade class of West Lab School to do something about the problem, confident that with adequate measures taken on land, such as more trash cans along the shoreline, recycling bids, additional maintenance workers, street cleaners, and storm drain covers, much of the trash found in our very own Biscayne Bay can be prevented from ever reaching the water. It's therefore fitting and appropriate that local officials on behalf of the citizens of Miami, pause in our official deliberations to laud and commend the fifth grade class of Henry S. West Laboratory School for their diligent application to study and their praiseworthy initiative in wishing to work together with our city commission in order to help solve the problem of uncollected solid waste and pollution along our shoreline. By virtue of my office and joined by fellow commissioners, I hereby proclaim the 12th day of May in the year 2016 as Henry S. West Laboratory School fifth grade class day. Congratulations, guys. Where's Dave? You don't want to say anything about these kids? These guys are amazing. Check out volunteercleanup.org if you guys want to find out where beach cleanups are going on and what you can do to get involved. They've taught me a lot, I'll tell you that. Who's speaking for this class? No weird tricks necessary. Well, first of all, thank you for having us here. We tried to come in as quietly as possible, 58 children. Uh, we're honored to be receiving this proclamation from the council and for the opportunity to come to your meeting and see our local government in action. These students have learned so much this year about ocean and trash pollution that they have committed themselves to continuing the work of cleaning up the ocean. We hope to encourage the commission to come up with ways to help solve the problem. In class, we have read many articles about plastic and trash in our oceans. We learned about the coral reef crisis, algae blooms, and dead zones. We also learned about the Great Pacific Garbage Patch, which is an area in the middle of the ocean that's twice the size of Texas. Did you know that by 2050, there will be more plastic in the oceans than fish? I saw a picture of a bird that thought plastic was food and had its stomach full of pieces of plastic. I, I learned that fish also mistake plastic for food and we eat the fish. So basically, we were on garbage. That's just gross. So we want to do something. We participated in a cleanup with Commissioner Russell at Albert Pilot Park on 38th and Biscayne. We saw that this huge mess of trash was washing ashore right in our backyard. And those are the pictures. During our cleanup, we found all sorts of plastics, including styrofoam, water bottles, bottle caps, straws, plastic bags, and many random objects. We cleaned up almost 400 pounds of trash from this pretty little park. It's the same all over our city's shoreline. So when we started researching where the trash was coming from, we learned it was coming from right here where we live. 80% of all the plastic in the oceans comes from land. 
and a lot of that trash comes from the street straight into our storm drain systems, which leads directly out to Biscayne Bay. Our class has pledged to use less single-use plastics and always dispose of them properly. In fact, our fifth grade class is currently raising money to install a water bottle refill station in our school so we don't need to ever buy bottled water. We come here today to ask you, our elected officials, to please explore ways to reduce single-use plastics and more importantly, prevent trash and litter from coming through the storm drain systems and into the bay. And as a token of our appreciation, we would like to present each of you with a reusable water bottle so you can also do your part. Thank you very much. Thank you guys, congratulations, this is our future from the mouths of babes.